What's up guys, today's video is going to be about a section of trail outside of St. George, Utah called Three Fingers of Death. 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 One, two, three. Starting from the top, you get a fast, flowy, fun descent down a bunch of little drops in a very wide trail before you get to the Three Fingers. This is where you have to decide, will you go down the first finger or the middle finger? If you choose the first finger, this is the finger that is the easiest. This is the best for beginners and people just starting out. Once you make it to the bottom, it's actually just a quick five second climb to the top as seen here. The middle finger is ironically the most aggressive finger of them all. This is for more intermediate to advanced riders or those enduro bros with their fanny packs and goggles. The third finger, which is the farthest to the right, is actually the shortest finger of them all, which also makes it the steepest. Any average Joey could make it down this finger for sure. I mean, look at me. I made it down. Well, that's it. Those are the three fingers of death. Or wait, what is this? I've never seen this line before. Could this be a fourth finger? I mean, this is super steep and narrow. I'm gonna have to try this out myself. There you have it, those are the three fingers of, or four fingers of death, I mean. From there, if you head up back up to the top, it's actually just a quick ride over to my favorite trail in St. George, called Barrel. All right, so maybe it's more of a quick ride and quick hike. Views are definitely worth it, though. Barrel has it all from technical rocky sections to fast and flowy sections. It has everything I could ever want in a trail. Well, except for maybe some tree coverage. The jumps on barrel can be a little sketchy, but they're just the right amount of sketchy. They definitely get your heart pumping and your adrenaline flowing. Let's just say when you show a clip of barrel to your significant other, you don't have to worry about them saying, you can't go on that trail ever again. Well, except for this jump. Yeah, you definitely don't want to show this jump to your significant other. I mean, it's no Whistler, but it's the best we can do here in the desert. Alright, well thanks for watching today guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe!